Hello, welcome to module six of setting up a journal with OJS 3.0, user profile. In this module, I'll be walking you through how to configure your personal user profile within the OJS dashboard. We begin on the journal homepage. In the top right hand corner, you can log in to your account. If you are already logged in, hover over your username and select the view profile link. We land on the Identity tab. The mandatory fields of this page are filled in using the information that you input during the creation of your user account. There are options for more information though. If, for example, you have a middle name and would like to include it, you can input it here. You can also include a salutation, your initials, a suffix if one applies, and your gender identity. Click Save when you have completed the form. Along the top navigation, select the Contact tab. Under the Contact section, you can enter your contact information. The only required information is your email address and your country, both of which are information that we input during the creation process. But you also have the option to input your phone number, an affiliation if you have one, and your mailing address if you so choose. Again, click Save when you are satisfied with the form. We'll next move on to the Roles tab. Under Roles, you can see the roles that have been assigned to your account. This account is enabled as an author and a reviewer, but we can also enable it as a reader. If you have enabled that you are a reviewer, make sure that your reviewing interests are entered into the field down below. When you are finished, click Save. We'll next move on to the Public tab. Under the Public tab, you can build your public profile. This profile will be visible to the public on the journal website. If you have an identifying photo that you would like to have associated with your account, you can drag and drop the file into the section to begin uploading. You can also click on Upload File to open a browser window. The bio statement is a rich text editor and you can populate it with whatever biographical information you would like to share with readers. Your profile will be accessed by readers viewing your articles, so biographical information that helps support your expertise is recommended. If you have a personal website, enter the URL. And if you have an ORCID ID, you can enter it here. When you've completed all the changes, click Save. The Password tab allows you to reset your password if necessary. Just enter your current password, your new password, confirm it, and click Save. Under the Notifications tab, you can decide what types of submission event notifications you will receive within the OJS system. The default setting is that you will receive notifications both in the dashboard and via email. Personally, I do not like receiving email notifications. So we are going to select do not send me an email for these types of notifications on each of the types. When you've completed your settings, click Save. You have now completely configured your personal profile within the OJS system. You can always come back at any time and make further adjustments if necessary. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.